Good evening, dear friends. It's Friday, which means we're back on your YouTube screens. Our favorite weekly telethon, but today, after watching this video, your life will change drastically. Why do I say this? It's not just words. The thing is that in this video, I will finally show you something I've been keeping secret for a long time. Why did I keep this information secret? Because I was asked not to show it. Because they were afraid of a large influx of subscribers to the channel on YouTube. YouTube servers might not withstand it. The personal assistant to the director of YouTube for subscribers repeatedly begged, pleaded not to reveal this topic. But literally yesterday, they informed me that everything has been smoothed out. Approximately 150 gigabytes have been added to the new YouTube servers. And now the influx of subscribers after I present this information to you is no longer scary. It won't crash. In general, Google, after I tell you this now. About what our today's story will be. Look at this. This is already unfamiliar to you. Yes. A picture. What is it? Thought. What are these labyrinths of pipes? This is our content with you. A living creature. Liver, stomach, meet the thick intestine. Thin now. And I will show you all, tell you what I want to tell you. If you have been subscribed for a long time, you have noticed that various changes are happening to my weight. Here. Here. If I now put a picture with the help of 3D graphics, I will have a weight of, the response is 242 pounds. And here will be, the response is 187 pounds. And now, I have just weighed. The response is 194 pounds. If you pay attention, then the weight changes, there were 100, there were 90, there were 80, 85, 70. Maybe there was on the very first video of 1,973. Rewind to the first video. There is probably... The response is... 132 pounds in general and also black and white even on this and what i will tell you now i will show you how for example i can lose weight if i lose weight i can gain weight whatever you want you can do it too want fat add it want muscle how to do all this and without special diets don't limit yourself eat everything you want any food fill it with mayonnaise but using these methods, you will either lose weight or gain weight. Or all your muscles will go. All your donuts will turn into biceps, if you want. But for this, you need to know certain methods of action. What do we need for this? We need to first get acquainted with our organs of the gastrointestinal tract. What is this? These are visceral methods of acting on internal organs. Just as we talk to you about the fact that somewhere is overstrained, for example, an artery, muscle spasm, various disorders occur. The nerve is pinched, blood does not go to the brain, muscles do not work, the joint hurts. Here too there are mechanical disorders that can cause disturbances in the work of the intestines, stomach, duodenum, liver. We will find out all this with you now. Like the stomach, the intestine also contains muscle tissue. What do they do? Why are muscles needed there? How do you think the contents of the intestine move? Here's the intestine. It moves everything that you've eaten. Everything that looked nice in front of you. Here, inside the intestine, it doesn't look so nice. It has a different consistency. What you've digested, you've just slightly digested. It all moves through the intestine with the help of contraction, with the help of peristalsis. And there are also muscle fibers there but slightly different ones. Here we have cross striated muscles. These are the muscles with which we can control with you. That is, the brain gives a command, for example. Take a sandwich with caviar and eat it. The hand obediently executes. But you, for example, tell your intestine, come on, let's go a little faster. Gas and move the contents of your intestine. You tell him he doesn't care about what you say, he doesn't listen to your opinion. He does what he wants, he works autonomously. Even when you don't want something, 
he can make it so that you are forced to fulfill his whim. So, next, the stomach also contains a muscular wall. The pyloric sphincter continues. The 12 duodenal intestine, why it is important. The ducts of the subgastric gland open there. The ducts of the gallbladder bubble. It continues into the small intestine and into the large intestine. There are certain places that should be in good condition first. If your task is to lose weight, or for example to replace your fat tissue with muscle, with steel muscles. You should first and foremost improve the condition of these parts of your gastrointestinal tract. The weakest places look exactly in the mechanical plan. First, here is the esophageal opening of the diaphragm. The esophagus passes through it. If it doesn't work well, the stomach contents are thrown into the esophagus, causing gastroesophageal reflux, as it's called, causing heartburn. So this is the first thing that needs to be fixed. Secondly, the spasm here, the pyloric sphincter of the stomach, also needs to be removed. The duodenum has places where the bile duct opens, the so-called sphincter of the bile duct. There is often a spasm there too. It needs to be removed if it exists. It disrupts the secretion of the bile, which contains a ferment that breaks down proteins, including bile for digestion fat, so that it is digested, not accumulated here on the stomach. And the next place is the transition from the small intestine to the large intestine. It's called the ileocecal valve here. All these places, they should work perfectly for us so that we have no problems with you, not only with weight gain, but also the function of the intestines. It is not only to digest, but also to inactivate toxins, the liver, everything that you ate. It also contains some bacteria, toxins. They should not be activated. All this is done with the help of the lymphatic system, which surrounds the intestines, but also with the help of the liver. If the intestines do not perform their functions, the lymphatic system of the liver is constantly overloaded and there is constant intoxication. Even the condition of the skin deteriorates with poor condition of the large intestine. liver, diaphragm, connections between them. Here, the entire connective apparatus also needs to be restored. So, friends, you see how much there is, but where to start? How can we improve all this? Because the condition of the intestines, it affects not only the weight, it grows, decreases, it also affects the lifespan, of course. It affects how all the microelements, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins will be absorbed. And everything will depend on this, how long we will live with you, how long you will be subscribed to my channel, how long will you like, comment. Therefore, my task is to prolong your life. Because I need you to become more so that you send in short message service to your friends with this video to your best friend so that he also subscribes to me. And I have to do now so that you live 100 years at least 20 like this, lived and watched me slowly all the videos, that's why I'm showing you this, see? So, friends, where do we start? We start with you from this place. Ileocecal valve, where the thin intestine transitions to the thick one. Our task is to lose weight with you. Here is the first thing we will do with you. This is the first place. How to find it? The sublingual bone, right here on the right. With hands. First, feel this bone here. Here is your landmark, you already have one. The second is your buttock. Where is your navel located? Whoever forgot, look in the mirror. There it is, in the center. And here's the spine, the anterior upper axis and your coccyx, right? There it is, the anterior upper axis and the coccyx. And roughly, if you draw a line between the anterior upper axis and your coccyx, you've drawn this line, like this. Roughly in the middle of this line, slightly below it, maybe slightly above, slightly below, but roughly there in this area. We don't need the millimeter. With your precision, you see, here's the middle, but on our drawing, it's not quite the middle because the norm is one thing and life is another, you see. 
individually, you also need to look for it. That is, here is this place. And the ice rock flap, the place of transition of the thin intestine into the thick one. What violations are there over time? It opens in time, does not close in time. The environment in the thin intestine, one in the thick one is already different. It must open like this, like this. Once everyone has run here, it closes. If it is open for a long time, a throw starts from the already thick intestine of the fatty intestine. Back into the thin intestine, there is an inflammatory process here. So it needs to open in time, close in time, and there are techniques with which you can open and close everything. These are these sphincters, flaps, and today I will show you how to do this. And with an ice rock flap, for a start, we will train on it. Because then you can do the same thing with the 12-finger intestine. And here and cover this, this is the opening of the diaphragm. But we will start with you from this because you want to lose weight. You want your weight to go away and we will open this hole with you, through which all your excess weight will go where to the sea, to the ocean. We go there through the canalization, friends. It's better to do this lying down. Don't lie down for this. I lie down. But then I lie down. First I'll show. Here I found this place. Yes, standing is better to see probably here. Here. That is the area and the ice rock flap. You can even feel there such a roller for those who do not have so much fat on the stomach. He feels it here. Such a roller will roll over. That is, you can feel it. Thin people can do this. And if you do, make a movement. That is, palpate. Feel yourself. Exactly this place, it, as a rule, is more sensitive, more painful than all the neighbors. That is what you do. Find this bone, your anterior upper axis of the pubic bone. Here it is. It burns. Then you have a rubber band from the pants, usually slightly above, slightly below it is there. And above this bone, here you touch yourself with your hands. Here, here slightly above, slightly below, you will find such a part that is slightly more sensitive, slightly more painful. First, just try to palpate it, press it a little, touch it, get acquainted with it. So, if the disease is sharp, all. We turn off the video, we go quickly, we remove the appendix if it is more or less but bearable. Then we continue further, we look at the symptom, what kind of appendicitis inflammation of the appendix, Appendix here, we press sharply. We remove our hands if it hurts and screams from pain. All means it's time to go. If not, we watch the video further and so what do we do now? That is, we can open or close this sphincter with you. If you want to gain weight, close it. It will accumulate in you. Weight, if you want to slightly reduce your weight, you open it. Open it as much as you need. The response is 11 pounds is needed. Open it at the level of. The response is 11 pounds. He must open and close at you. How to open, close, look. Here I will show. That is, we pressed and now we need to turn the fabric to one side. As if we will turn clockwise and counterclockwise. Why? Because there are no other options. Only these two either here or here. Here you open the crane, you can open, you can close from the other side, will not turn. So you pressed, applied, slightly applied. And now we start to turn. That is, you turn such a turn. You make one hand slightly above the other hand. Slightly below you go. And of course you act, you are balanced, that is on the fabric. You act pressed and turned to one side. Too sick should not be at you. Here held here, you turned and held here. So for 10, 15 seconds. Relaxed. Then again. Pressed and turned. Turned. Here so. See, you turn already to the other side. You make a turn here. So here you turn. Also held. 10, 15 seconds. All this needs to be done lying down. Because when you lie down, your stomach will relax. 
it will be easier to reach all this. After you do this, you may feel an unusually pleasant sensation in the area of the transition of the small intestine into the thick, because the blood flow improves and the relaxation of the intestinal loops occurs. Well, friends, well, come on. Okay. Symmetrically from the other side here is the sigmoid colon. Here, of course, not such a strong sphincter, but it also exists and it can also be influenced. Here it is located a little higher than on the right side. It is right next to this bone, but slightly inside. The same thing you pressed and now turned exactly the same and hold. Hold for 10-15 seconds. Then relax sharply. Do not tear your hands off. Also twisted. Also unwind. Also then pressed. And to the other side. Also in which I did. This one or this one. In general in one. To the other side do. You can do several cycles like this. Also notice that after this, even if you had some tension in your legs, for example, in the area of the sacrum, it can also pass improve. Because very often tense loops of the intestine, they reflexively also cause tension of the sacrum. Muscles, leg muscles, intercostal muscles as well. So, friends, well, if this topic interested you, write in the comments whether we should continue to learn how to restore the liver, remove spasms in the liver, which are also there, especially if you missed hits in the liver in childhood, knocked you out, or even in a knockout were in the liver. If you were hit, then there are pieces of tension left. And even if they didn't hit, if, for example, you've seen alcohol at least once in your life with one eye, also if you've tried it, then there are also pieces of tension there. The pancreas also relates to alcoholic beverages. It doesn't like them. In general, it has a negative attitude towards them. It also suffers from chronic pancreatitis. Develops. Loops are formed there. All this disrupts the inflow outflow. In general, the intestine itself. How to restore it further. The stomach. How to remove reflux. In short, how to not only make us slim and beautiful for the beach, but also how to improve the condition of our intestines so that we can live to death with a good working intestine and die with a good intestine. Healthy. And if it is healthy, then we will not die. We will live with you until our grandchildren take us somewhere into the forest to free up the apartment. So, friends, we've sat down with you and it's already time.